kind of just a weird question. Really, it doesn't fall necessarily into any of our categories uh, easily. But uh, if we are following the story, we there are some keys keywords here that should help us build an equation. So uh, let's just take a look at a particular track meet. The ratio of coaches to athletes is one to twenty six. If there are X coaches at the track meet, which of the following expressions represents the number of athletes at the track meet? So um, if you kind of just do this in a very literal way, uh, you could think about ratios here, right? So if we just wrote down what they told us, right? So this is coaches to athletes. So one coach for every 26 athletes. Now, when we use ratios, normally we would set two ratios equal to each other, right? So the whole point is that no matter how many coaches or athletes you have, that, that relationship is preserved. So we're using the properties of fractions and the fact that we can reduce fractions to our advantage. So what do we know? Well, let's be very literal here, right? They said if there are X coaches, right? So we could put X coaches, uh, spell it right, on the top here. And that's the key is when we do set up a proportion where we have these two um, uh, fractions equal to each other, the most important thing to keep track of is the units. So it may seem kind of uh, silly that I'm writing coaches and athletes, but I'm doing it for good habits, right? I want to keep the units consistent because that is the, the biggest mistake. And if we didn't do that correctly here, we would get one of these wrong answers. So what they want then is the number of athletes. So I'm just going to use a big A to represent that. So in a way, what I'm basically doing is I'm saying, okay, let me solve for A. Let me rearrange this thing so that it's A equals, because that's kind of what they want. So how would you do that? Well, when we have any two fractions set equal to each other like this, remember we cross multiply and divide. So you're multiplying diagonally, and then we're probably going to divide, but in this case we're not because we're going to get what we want, right? Because A times 1 is A, and 26 times X is 26X. So what do we want? We wanted A all by itself. We have A all by itself. And so there you go. 26X is the answer. Um, so if you want to just think of it as a ratios question, there you go. You're done. You could arithmetize here. I don't think it's particularly helpful. But in a way, uh, they do say that um, we have, you know, since they have 1 to 26, you could say, okay, well, what happens if there were two coaches, right? Okay, well, then the ratio, you may be able to just do, the, do this in your head. There would be 26 athletes per coach. So 2 times 26, so the number of athletes would be 52. Then you could just plug those numbers basically into these equations, right? So if X is 2, I want to get 52 out, right? But 2 over 26, well, that's a decimal. That's not going to work. 26 times 2, well, that's what we just did in our head to get 52. So that works. 2 plus 26 is 28. That doesn't work. And 26 divided by 2 is 13. So again, that doesn't work. Though I would say that either A or D are probably what you would get if you wrote this uh, ratio wrong because we still kind of like the, the fraction, but somehow we we put the X of the 26 in the wrong spot. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would just say that this is a good example of the thing you can't really panic over because maybe a lot of people are looking at this and being like, oh, I don't know, I can't follow this story or whatever. But I, I remember that most stories are just you know examples of the same topics that we see everywhere else in the SAT, right? They've just they might not explicitly tell us what that topic is, but it's still kind of fit, going to fit into some sort of category. So thinking about lines or quadratics can sometimes help. In this case, it's a weirder topic. It's ratios, but hopefully you know what a ratio is. They're going to come up in lots of other places. Sometimes it's just about unit conversion, other times similar triangles. So we do use ratios quite a bit on the SAT. So hopefully this is a nice refresher for that.